as you notice, we all have fan favorites for old franchises that we love to play games. I love to play Gauntlet. Oh yeah? Gauntlet. For instance, you see, we digress all the time because we love our old games. And nostalgia is very, very strong with games. Is that why you say Elf needs food all the time, badly? Is that why you like, like the Gauntlet, like <laughs> exactly. infiltration? Exactly. Like so, we talked about we'd love to make uh, something that's similar to Syndicate. And we've been talking for a very long time that, you know what, you don't necessarily need the Syndicate IP to create a Syndicate-like game that does a lot of the bunch the things that the Syndicate game would do, for instance. Right. And uh, we've been percolating this idea for a very long time. And we we'd ha we had a concept, we had a pitch document that we'd uh, created, and we were trying to come up with a good way to do it. So when EA announced Syndicate... Right. Uh, and we, what we heard that what a lot of people were clamoring for uh, a true syndicate game. We said, you know what, this is a good time for us, a bit prematurely perhaps, to announce a Cartel. the Cartel, which was our project name for the internal game that we were developing. Uh, it was in pre-production. So Cartel, and if you can read that interview at Rock Paper Shotgun that I did, was a very much down-to-earth spiritual successor to what one would describe a cartel. Essentially, it was uh, a game where you controlled the corporation and your aim was to take over the world. And you did that by means of violence through cybernetically enhanced agents. So this was a game that we started pre-production on. And pre-production means that an idea starts somewhere. Either it's on Fred's desk or it's on my desk, and sooner or later it gets. On my set. desk, a lot of things happen. Actually, I recognize that much. That's People just said. leave stuff on my desk. Exactly. I don't really appreciate that. It's very messy. It's a very messy desk. It's a very messy desk. So, the idea got moved around. A lot, a bunch of people looked at it, and we sent it to a number of developers who looked at the game, and were very interested in making the game because they, like us, really love the old Syndicate game, right? So, um, we moved ahead from a concept stage into a pre-production stage. Is when you start creating vertical slices of a game. And for those of you that don't know, a vertical slice is a self-contained 5 to 10 minute sequence of a game that more or less lets you experience uh, a, s a vertical slice of what the final game will be like. And... This is during this stage you prototype many of the gameplay mechanics. You try to clear out one of the many of the design hurdles, and the ma the major design hurdles for the Cartel was updating the game formula in to a modern audience. And we talked about this when we talked about Majesty. Yeah, get to the point now because the audience is getting. Are they bored. killing? Okay. Yeah. So the the point was that we came to a point where we realized that updating the the formula that was popularized in the original Syndicate would probably not be that successful today. Although people are very nostalgic about this, we played the game and we tried to make it work, and for a lot of reasons, it was very difficult. And I, I'm gonna show you um, first time ever. Ever, 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 uh, footage from the pre-alpha uh, of the cartel that we will we had in development. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's start rolling it. So what you're seeing now is uh, a very very early version of cartel. What you're seeing before you is an agent being controlled uh, in a futuristic city. Uh, as you can see, I think this is set in Berlin, if Berlin? I remember. Really? If I remember correctly. Oh. Um, uh, it has many of the basic uh, things you'll see in a game. You see that the agent just tackles. It looks a lot like Detroit, actually. At this point. Well, most futuristic rundown cities look like Detroit and I'm well, sorry do. if we have anyone from Detroit in the stream right now it's nothing personal I love to visit your beautiful city uh, no. I hear you listen you, a lot to Eminem and I hear you will have a Robocop soon in the future at 3 exactly at 209 okay. exactly so what you're seeing is uh, early footage from uh, cartel and you have an agent that moves around um, 
by and large it's a RTS kind of game but you don't control large armies you have small armies so you see one of the characters here approaching somebody and doing a, a backstab or choking them out is that right yes you see Zach Mills is our main character oh here. that's nice exactly. yeah. you see it looks right like kind of like Hitman Hitman, but it's not Hitman, it's... No. Uh, Did you play all the Hitman games? I played a few of the Hitman games. You like them? Well, yeah. I generally don't like sneaking, um, but... Well, you're kind of sneaky. Yeah, I'm sneaky like, myself, yeah. but I don't like sneaking. Oh, so, yeah. um, we tried to capture a lot of the important aspects of a cartel game, uh, or a syndicate game, essentially. But uh, the challenge we realized was that and during this time uh, Syndic the original syndicate was released and during during this phase a lot of kickstarter projects started and uh, we were following these very closely because we're not only gamers but we work in the games industry and we we'll listen very closely and the expectations that you gamers have or I should say we gamers have on sequels is tremendously high not only are the expectations high, but the bar and the, for user interfaces, uh, established conventions, and all of these things are very greatly increased. And we realized that we didn't necessarily shy away from the challenge, but we realized that this is probably going to be a bit more challenging than we originally anticipated. So as we went about figuring out a good way to create uh, a cartel game in a way that would not only please you gamers it will also update the formula it would also result in a game that was really good it had a lot of replayability it had um, a potential for modularity and by that mean I mean uh, a potential to be able to expand the game in modules in essentially the same way that we expanded most of our games Magicka, European of the Solace if you see, most Ma Paradox games have these things in common. They have a lot of replayability, a lot high average game time. They're fairly hardcore. You can keep on adding modules in, in different ways over and over and over again. And also, most importantly, we tried to find a developer that could do justice to the game according to, to these principles. And as we kept digging further and further, we decided that, you know what? While this would be really cool, it's extremely challenging and we decided that uh, maybe maybe our efforts would be better used elsewhere so um, despite really wanting to do uh, a cartel kind of game we decided you know what uh, let's not bite off more than we can chew essentially and if we can't do this properly maybe we shouldn't do it. I mean it's not been a secret that Paradox has tried a number of very crazy and wild ideas over the past two years mm -hmm. and some have been successful and some have been less successful right and i think that you every time you do um one of our yearly conferences you talk about quality being a very important hallmark for paradox and as a result you sometimes end up in a situation where you have to say you know what no we're not going to make this game because the end result might not be near the quality marks and benchmarks that we that have. we're looking for that we're looking for. right so what what's the deal with cartel so right now unfortunately cartel is a game that's uh, on hold it's we're not actively working on the game we're not actively looking to restart the game um but who knows what the future will hold uh, i don't think it's inconceivable that one day we'll make a cartel like game but currently we have are focusing our development efforts on a different area that's the corporate answer you get and uh, the corporate answer is that we're not making cartel right now 